and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to the video. Now, <clears throat> please excuse my croaky voice. I, um, I've still got that silly cough that I had over Christmas. But today we are going to try out a few items that I have picked up um, along December uh, and just do my face and do a wear test, mainly on the number seven uh, essentially natural foundation. It's hypoallergenic, lightweight, natural finish, blah de blah. So we're going to do a wear test on this and use a few other products along the way. So if you want to see how I do this mug, carry on watching. <laughs> Then let's get going now uh, as I said we're going to do a wear test on the foundation and underneath I'm going to use this is a new product of mine but it is a repurchase which is the insta blur all-in-one five action perfecter blah de blah from body shop um, and the reason I'm using this one is because I'm not using any um, concealer under my eyes and this hydrates my skin it comes out like a jelly wobble comes out like that <laughs> but it does rub into your skin and rub into your face and it just smooths out your complexion um it hides a few blemishes and things but uh, not too much what is my hair doing back here <laughs> i twisted it up out the way for us today and i also picked up from zueva which is from beauty bay um, their vegan brush suitable for all skin types and it's the 104 buffer in the bamboo there it is it's quite uh, quite posh isn't it already stained <laughs> no it's brand new it come like that and we're going to use like I said the number seven essentially natural foundation now on here it says achieve soft fresh and healthy skin lightweight and comfortable to wear it gives a delicate coverage while still covering blemishes and minimising the appearance of pores. Hence, I used the Insta Blur underneath it. So, let's see what this is like. It's got a little thingy. Why do they always have these little thingies? Oh, I can get it. Woohoo! <laughs> right, so let's see what this... Oh, what colour did I get it in? Good point. What colour did I get it in? cool ivory so let's see what this looks like there you go so let's see what this looks oh it's cold Whoa. on the skin this brush is nice oh yes this brush is very nice put a bit down my neck as well mm -hmm. Oh, this brush is very, very nice. I like. Get out where? Where you? All right. And this is why I put the Insta Blur on my eyes because I was just going to do an all-in-one coat. Let's get the mirror. Wow. Mm, that's blended in. And does look like my skin. I could do with a bit of concealer, I think. Wow. This might be one I could use with the reverse foundation. I think it could be. It could be used for my reverse foundation. Because it's light enough. Ooh, we might be trying that again then sometime in a get ready with me. So we'll see how that gets on. But that's not so bad, is it? You can see my bags. Shall I put? I'll put concealer on because then we'll know what it looks like and whether it bubbles up with concealer. Because I need to cover these bags up <laughs> a little bit with dark circles and down my nose a little. So I'm using the bare skin. It's not new, as you know. I've had that for a long time, and we'll just see how that works. It just blends right in. Voila. It sits, it's, 
concealer just sits on top of it really really nice still see me bags but at least they're not as dark um now powder i haven't actually got a new powder but i haven't put to the i don't know whether to put powder found i haven't actually got a powder but i want to see what it does all on its own because this is a lightweight natural finish so we could get away with it just being natural i'll just put a bit of contour on um otherwise it'll look a bit ghostly but i'm not going to put any on my face here and we'll see what it's like with the oils there i've used two tart products that are in my little z palette here this is the bronzer oh, what is the name of it but it doesn't say on the bottom the norm the usual bronzer and this is a blush in pink rose i think it's called but i just thought i'd use that um as a bit of a bronzing contour and a bit of a blush and uh, it just gives me a little bit more colour instead of looking too pastely. Now, the next thing I've got is brows and eyeliners. So we're just going to do a normal natural brow. Um, and what I've picked up is the CYO Brow Sculpting in Medium. And that is what it's looking like. So we're going to pop that on and see what that's like. I do like it has a spoolie. That is one thing I do like. So let's just try this out. Oh, oh, oh. It's circle. Can you see that? It's right. Let's try what this is like. Now, this is around about four or five pounds, I think. So it's not an expensive item, but um, it is nice and creamy. And. Oh, from the drugstore which I do like things a little bit cheaper it's very hard to control this ah, very hard to control please be careful mm. um, it certainly defines your brows let's put it that way <clears throat> very dark eee! maybe a bit too dark but we'll just spool through and hope that it lightens them up a little bit <laughs> well my brows are on um it is a little bit too dark for me but i will use it um not a bad shade i suppose this was the medium brown so uh the next thing i've got is the cyo because it was buy one get one half price i haven't unwrapped it as usual there we go and it's the brow and lash gel. We'll just put some of this through. Just a clear gel. But it will set my eyebrows in to place. And hopefully not let them wander off anywhere. Eh, brow gel. It works. Right. The next thing I have is a number seven Stay Perfect Amazing Eye Pencil. Now, I got this free when I bought the foundation. I bought the foundation and the mascara, which is the lash extender. And I thought, oh, I'll try that. Um, and I got this free. So I thought, we'll try it on the inner line. Oh, right. It just leaks everywhere. <laughs> so we're going to very quickly... Um, in the waterline, it leaks straight back out. So I wouldn't recommend that at all. But for my usual everyday look um, of a black smudged underline, it's perfect. But it's coming, it's not come off my waterline, but it has made my eyes tickle. Ooh, because it was, it just made my eyes water. But it might just be because it's new. Um, so we'll just smudge it out. Whoops, no, we don't want any there. We'll just smudge it out. And as you can see, look, you could continue with this. Everywhere, if you wanted. So this is a very easy way of just making your eyes black. First impressions. It's a nice smudge eyeliner. It will smudge though, it won't just stay in your waterline. Not for me anyway. <laughs> right. And another thing I got was this. It was from TK Maxx. 
and it was the Illamasqua Precision Gel Liner. Very bougie. Um, and it was $7.99, which I thought wasn't bad. And it's full and it hasn't been used. So I thought we could give, um, maybe, try and do a wing with this gel liner. Oh, it goes on lovely. Goes on absolutely lovely. Now, can I do a wing with this? Yeah. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. This is my favourite pomade. Do you call them pomade? Eyeliners. I have never used a pom... I have used. I've got a NYX gel one there. But this one, um, it just seems to be loads easier to work with. And then Illamasqua is very nice to work with anyway. This would not ruin my eyeshadow. And a wing with it is so easy. Wings so easy. Look at that. So easy. I love it. I do like that. <laughs> yes, that will be going down there and that will be used a lot. That needs cleaning. <laughs> I really do like that. Now, on with the lash. Um, this is the number seven last ex lash extender, infinite lash length and volume. Two things I like. Um, so let's dive into this. Wow. Hard to see with the wing being there. That was a bit silly, really, with me. But uh, can you see the the lashes? Separate your lashes, lovely. Um, let's see if you can build it up. But it does separate your lashes, oh, absolutely lovely. Ooh. See if we can get it to go into a length. It's not clumping and I've put two coats on. And it catches hold of all my little feathery ones under there. I like that. You can see my eyelashes. Look, there they are. <laughs> now I like that as well. So all I'm going to do now, I'll pop on a lip. I might just put a lip gloss on actually. I'll just stick, um, quickly put a lip gloss on. That will do. And that is what I would normally wear on an everyday basis. But I wouldn't I would I would definitely use that um Illamasqua. Definitely. That was so easy to do a wing, so easy. And I'd definitely put more contour, but we're going to try this, aren't we, with no powder and see what it looks like. So also I bought a CYO because it was a buy buy two get one free. And I got this fixing spray. Now, let's see what this is like. Ooh. It, uh. <coughs> it has mint in it, would you believe? <coughs> Sorry if that blasted your ear holes. What is it? Water, alcohol, dinner, glycerol. It smells of mint and it's very powerful smell. <clears throat> we shall try this again in another Get Ready With Me. But there we go. And that is how I would be on a normal everyday basis. Unless I want colour. Um, or I just want to put a little bit of um, colour in the eye. Like a yellow or something like that. But there you go. I'm ready, <laughs> ready to do the everyday bits and pieces now. So I will come back um, in, what time is it now? It's three o'clock, nine minutes past three. So I will come back about 10 past six, three hours and we'll see what this looks like, but it looks lovely. 
needs a contour it needs a bit more contour and a bit more but it looks lovely we're not going to do that because i want to know what it's like and whether it pulls my grease through at the moment it just looks very natural and yay right i shall see you in a mo well three hours hello right six o'clock three hour mark and i'm really 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 impressed i've been looking at it Yes, there is a bit of oil coming through up here and here. Just a tiny bit there and there and a bit up there. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's been killing me all day. I'm really, really impressed. And that's with no powder. Imagine if you blotted it and put powder on it. Wow! And this mascara it's brilliant if i didn't have the large wing i think it'd be worth and yes i did put a bit of color on before i went out i did put a bit of yellow on you can see where the line is the original liner the um number seven liner smudged um into my crease up there um so i just put a bit of yellow in and uh, it's, it's not too bad but this is lovely absolutely lovely <laughs> So I will be trying this on again um, because after three hours with no setting powder and there's only a tiny little bit coming through. Can you imagine if I put setting powder on it? <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. I am impressed with this little... Where's it gone? I put it away. You watch. Bear with me. With this. Very, very impressed with this. Um... Yes, impressed. And uh, the wing eyeliner is brilliant. That stayed, it hasn't leaked down. Um, the number seven sort of smudged away a bit, but I am very, very impressed. I like it a lot. So I am going to be using this again with powder and I'll let you know how I get on. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now.